Okay, so I'm going to assume that um, you've already got an account set up, okay? So this is basically, um, I'm going to talk you through lists. So you basically have your MailChimp account, so I'm going to assume you, you set it up. If you haven't, you just go to MailChimp.com and sign up for free. So I think it's free for under 2000 subscribers so all you need to do is basically fill in that information and you'll set up a new account so I'm not going to do it because I've already got my account but that is as simple as it is to claim your free MailChimp account okay okay so you've got your account and you're, you're in your dashboard which is where the central activity is now the first thing you want to do is you want to go in and set up a list okay so I'm going to delete that one because I'm going to uh, Set up a new demo one, okay? So I'm going to create a list. So over here, create list. Now, what is this list name, okay? So what I would recommend is you have one big list, so your main marketing list. Now, for me at the Keepsake Company, we've got our retail customers and we've got our, our business inquiries list. So I tend to have two big lists and then I have lots of smaller lists depending on the different things that they've done um, so that I can segment and target. So depending on your business, you know, think about the different reasons people are interested in you and maybe have one big list or a couple of big lists, you know, if they're completely different information. So um, you just want to give it a name so I'm going to call it demo but it could be main list um, you know and then obviously if you want smaller you know it could be people that are just interested in that one service that you do so you could call it that service or something um, so you can have as many lists as you want you don't want too many because it's hard for you to manage but you can you can basically you can merge your list later on so if you feel that you want to split it out this way then great the other way you can do list management is by having um, tagging you can tag um, your leads so that you can you can filter and do things with the people that are tagged in that way so you could just have the one main list and have them tagged um, but to start with I think having separate lists so you can you can look down your list lid, um, your list of lists and see who you know how many you've got in each list and how the lists are performing okay and then you can basically export and import into your main list um, quite easily so I'm going to call this demo you're from email so when you send your email who do you want it to come up as from um, in their inbox so it could be um, Victoria um, uh, or Victoria case or marketing director whatever it is so um, oh, sorry this is your from email address so it could be Victoria at the keepsake uk, and then the name is what it's going to be displayed at um, in their inbox you know when, when you when you see an email it normally has you know the name so it could be Victoria Caseborn like that okay then you want to remind people how they got on your list. So hopefully, if you're emailing regularly, then um, they're going to remember anyway, but people forget. So why are they on your list? So you could say um, you are receiving this email because you purchased something like that, okay? Um, obviously, you, you, ex you expand on that, okay? But I don't want to keep you while I'm just typing away. You have your contact information here. Now, this has come up in my groups before that people don't want their their um, address to come up, but it is it's part of um, cutting down on spam and stuff. So it is unnecessary, and you can read their little explanation there. Okay, um, and then you can get different notifications here. So we're having them sent here. You can have them sent to any address. So you can basically have a daily summary of how many subscribes and subscribes you have to that list. So because I want you to get in the headspace of purely focusing on increasing your list and obviously making sure that you're looking after that list, it's really good to focus on the numbers. So if every day you have a little email come through from MailChimp saying you've got two new subscribers, you've got 100 new subscribers, then it really keeps you focused rather than being able to forget it. You can be emailed on a one-by-one -one basis. So you could use this as like um, someone requesting information. So for our business opportunities, we have a one-by-one -one notification so we know when someone's downloaded the pack or when someone's gone on our early bird list or someone's done something so that we can follow up with them offline and um, you can be told when you get unsubscribed. I don't really know why you would want to 
know to, want to know that because um, you know why do you want that into your inbox? But there may be a reason that you you want to to keep an eye on and subscribes as well. So um, and then you would just save that list. So there you go. There's my list. I've got no subscribers on my list, but I've set up my first list. 